So actually, um, a guy named Matthew Charles was there at the State of the Union. Yeah. He was the first person to get out. So that. Um, from the First Step Act. So that bill got out thousands of people. So we're working on getting all of those people out now. Kim Kardashian is continuing to do good and help people. E.T. has learned that she will pay five years of a former inmate's rent after he was denied housing. What's it like to be free? What's it like to, to oh, walk along this <laughs> river and see the trees? And... Uh, uh, it's unexpressible in words. And I mean, it's something I've been dreaming about for close to 21 years now, 22 years. That's Matthew Charles, who was released from prison in January after serving 20 years of his 35-year sentence after being convicted on nonviolent drug charges. Since his release, NBC News learned he's also all about giving back. My heart is truly for the poor, for the homeless, uh, for those in their need. These people need to know that they are loved, no matter what their situation is. But like other former inmates, he's had trouble finding a place to live. Kim saw Matthew's story and reached out to his friend, Tim Hardiman, offering to pay five years of rent and contact any property owners as a reference if needed. Hardiman tells ET, quote, When I told Matthew about Kim's generous gift, he was overwhelmed. He was truly humbled that Kim was willing to lift that burden from him. Matthew told me Kim's generosity will allow him to save enough money to eventually put a down payment on his first house. Kim has changed his life. Hardiman also says Matthew will pay it forward by helping others who are facing the same obstacles he's endured. Now, this isn't the first time Kim has taken an interest in prison reform. She was also instrumental in Alice Johnson's release last year. I can, I, I'm sorry, I thought you knew. Oh my God, the news just broke. The, pre, the president just called me. And he told me that um, that you are out. He signed the papers. It's been released to the press. Everything. You're coming home. And Kim isn't stopping there. She plans to do more with prison reform. But something that I really want to focus on, I think there's such a stigma on people hiring formerly incarcerated people. So I would love to hire formerly incarcerated people and I think I would, you know, I would love to spread that message that other companies and big companies can do that too. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's so nice to see Kim using her platform to do this type of work. For all the latest on the Kardashians, make sure that you are subscribed to All Things ET. Until next time, I'm Katie Krause, and bye for now.